Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I'd give you guys some helpful developmental tips to teach you guys how to develop on Roblox. So first things first is you want to learn how to use Roblox Studio. So you have your home tab, your model tab, your test tab, your view tab, and you also have all your plugins in one tab in the plugins tab. But we're not going to use the plugins tab as of yet. We'll you can know, get that at a later date. But we're going to be using the home, model, and view tabs. So you have your explorer and properties open because you have it open within the view right here. So explorer and properties. You also will have your toolbox also open as well in the view. Normally people would have their toolbox over here. And the way that Roblox Studio works is you're able to move this wherever you like. So you can have your toolbox be out in the open. You can have your toolbox be up there or you can have your toolbox be over at the near the explorer. And I kind of like all my all my windows to be over on the same side. Um, I feel like you could also move the output over here as well. Yes, you can move the output over there. So I kind of like having all of my um, all my stuff, but also love having the output down here because it just has very easy access. You have your your toolbox and your explorer, and then this is just my other. Uh, this is just one of the plugins that I use, which converts units. But that's basically like you have all your views and you have your view selector, which I don't really use because it just shows you what's what you're facing. So you can have that open as you, if you want. You have it open to full screen or not. Um, when I'm recording, I have it open to full screen. And when I'm not recording, I don't have it open to full screen. So I say don't have it open to full screen unless you want it. This will take a screenshot and this will record your Roblox Studio. Now, now that you know basically all of this, which is the view, just gives you all of this. Um, we're not going to use much, or, much or so with the Explorer of Properties or the Toolbox. I would say don't use the Toolbox. So the Toolbox is usually always closed unless you need to get something from the Toolbox, which let's just say, um, really you won't need anything from the Toolbox unless you're just putting it, it put in putting free models, which usually developers they don't use free models but you know the toolbox is there which you usually have it open for here you get your models that you made or you downloaded you get your you have your plugins your images your meshes and all of that so that's usually what the toolbox is used for now we're going to want to learn how to insert a part okay so here and you have here is part you could insert it up there because it says insert, or you can go in here and insert a part like that. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to hit a part. Now, you have it different tools right here. Your move, scale, rotate, and select. So you get you can move you can move this around freely, or if you like to use the move tool, which you can use it to like position it. But when you want to move a, move a part, use the select and drag it. Your scale, you can scale apart for how big you want it. And now here's where your plugins tab will come in handy. Now, I have a lot of plugins. You probably don't because you probably opening Roblox Studio for the first time. So you can do rig builder right here. So say rig builder and just put in a block rig. Now, all the, these rigs will help you help you scale parts. So let's, let's just make a wall. How big this person is. So this will help you scale because if you, because if you're just using this and you're like, okay, well, this looks big enough. And you put your character up there that looks so big in the character and you put like your, your roof on there. And you know, some, sometimes this will look good, which right now this actually looks really good for a place. But it's always best to have a rig. Now, when I first started out as developing on Roblox, I kind of just did like a little bit of like, you know, playing around um, 
with parts and I've come a long way. So we're going to play around with some parts and we're going to um we're going to we're going to build something, something that usually people would build when they're first starting out on Roblox. So let's just let, let's just build um and I'm going to speed this part up a little bit just so you guys can see it, but I'm going to play around with the parts and we're going to build. Okay, so here we go. So I built something and it's just, you know, played around with different parts and, and, and built something that I built a very long time ago, which was one of my old cafes. Um, and basically, when I first started out in Roblox, I had this um, group called Shadow 33 Cafe. And I built a cafe and it looks something like this, like the inside looked, looked exactly like this. I think it was probably like a little bit bigger but this is basically generally how it was now i played around with different parts and i built a structure now there's obviously ways that you can make it look better like right here you can let's just say let's make this a brick color like a brick and we can do this like that and then some of the some of, some of the times what i usually do is i just scale this down and in here this is this snaps this to a grid and let's not put that let's put that as 0.1 so this is this tells you how many studs you're going to move this part it's so moving the studs like 0.1 and okay and then i'm going to make this white let's make this basalt because why not? I think that will go good. I'm gonna have it be like this. And there you, can, you you start to see that it's starting to look a little bit better and then here because this looks a little bit out of whack let's give this a wood texture hopefully that's going to start glitching so it doesn't really need to be perfect see what color is that so that's pastel brown and wood and obviously as you get the hang of Roblox studio a little bit you're going to start to see that you're going to be using different skills and developing a little bit differently i think this is like a perfect way to start out as on on building wise because now you're just getting the hang of this you're just learning exactly how roblox studio is working so once you have recolored all your parts so like you've basically learned that putting parts together create a structure like this and you know we're not going to work too much on that but we can do like you know brown and just have it also have that be concrete 
medium stone. Like, you know, just the general idea. And then you can have, like, you know, let's say you want to have a floor. So let's put a floor. Let's have the floor be the same as the roof. Uh, but that's generally how, like, you know, development works. And obviously, as you put parts and parts together, you're going to learn more and more in how development works. And we're actually going to go ahead and check out exactly how this all comes together. And we're going to be using this, this little thing and we're going to be renovating it in our cafe series. So we're going to be looking at this and renovating it a little bit just so we can have, like, you know, our cafe series um, that we restarted, as you guys saw in the Thursday's video. But... I'd say that this is a great spot for you guys to start. So let's just move on and let's go check out my hotel that I'm building. And you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about, how this actually helps you learn. Okay, so now we're here at Azure Hotels. Um, let me just turn off the starter GUIs because, you know, we really don't need those. So over here, I have this little texture pack. And these texture packs will, will help you because you have like different like roofing, wallpapers, tiles, um, bricks marble stuff, woods, um, all of these textures, and they will really help you out when building stuff. Now, if you think about it, you can also find like different textures like this. I found off Google and just uploaded it here on Roblox to make a carpet texture. Um, but textures really take yourself a really long way on Roblox to develop. But with putting parts together, you can you, you, you can make something like this right here, where you have like your textures, your brick, and then like metal. Um, this is what putting parts together gets you, and putting parts together like this make you a wall. So, um, really, this took me, like, anyone could put this here and put a texture on a wall to make this, and it really looks amazing and interesting. Um, people can just put parts together and just make this. So, basically, developing is just putting parts together and doing some different things. Um, and then... Blender modeling is this. I can't do that, so I just put got it off the toolbox. So see, I use the toolbox sometimes because who's gonna make a tree? Um, so yeah, this is basically what putting parts together make you. And one thing to become a good developer is to use Google. Use Google and get inspiration photos. So let's just so and then you and like you could use this as an inspiration like you know just put parts together scale it up you can make like a wall a doorway you can make you know doors different doors um you can make anything if you just find the inspiration to do it so basically development is really easy you just gotta learn how roblox studio works um you want to spruce up your builds by giving it variety um so like different wall textures different wall colors different wall materials and i would say don't always use the roblox materials um because number one the wood the, the wood flooring looks kind of a little bit ugly but with, with some things you could use like the like let's say the, the wood planks these look Really awesome because so I use the wood plank sometimes in my roll block in my blocks for cows, um, which gives it like a, a nice texture if you're doing like a platform and stuff like that. And I use that sometimes. But one of the things that I really do like, I don't think that they have it on here for like the wood planks, um, but it's not like in this. But you can you can get texture packs off of the. Um, you can you can get the texture packs off of Roblox off the right here. This is what I'm talking about. This is the floor that I usually use. But you can get the texture packs off of the toolbox and it really helps you. So if you did find this video useful, I do have more content like this coming out um every week, which is either like in Roblox Studio or not. So you guys can definitely check out my channel, subscribe, consider watching. Um, but I do have more videos coming out this week, which is the continuation of Bloxburg, um, my Bloxburg building. So yeah, guys, go check out my channel. I have more scripting videos coming up next week. Um, but this is just so you can know some development progress that I was doing on my hotel and some developmental tips. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give a like and subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye now. Built an empire of stars.